Okay, I've been uh, screwing around with this 34-pick uh, carburetor. Figured out a different way of running without a Venturi, so that way you have a uh, virtual 34-millimeter Venturi. Okay, we're still running the hose. Still running this hose to this guy right here, to the uh, horn or vent horn. And what I've determined is the second option for running without a Venturi would be to these two horns or these two uh, auxiliary jets. There we go. This guy and this guy. You need to solder them from the bottom, cover up the jets. What's happening with these jets? And on the uh, first option, running without a Venturi, is they can make you can make them work, but your fuel delivery is awkward. It's not in a straight line. It's kind of like a bumpy. How should I put it? It's a little bumpy. You get a little rich, a little lean, a little rich, because these guys are hitting or they're beginning to work at around 1,800 RPMs which really screws up your uh, linear fuel delivery with your idle and, and main. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, here's our project. We're going to go ahead and solder this guy and this guy because the little ports on the bottom are activating a little too soon giving you a, a non-linear uh, fuel delivery. I mean, you can make them work with no Venturi, but eh, it doesn't quite, it's not perfect. So, this other option is uh, a little bit better, I think. Um, you're still running the hose off the horn, or the uh, vent, off this guy, the hose all the way to the exterior of the, uh, of the air filter. So we're gonna use some of this guy, some flux, and we're going to solder this guy, and this guy. Both of these two we're going to solder them shut, and I'll give you the jets after we're done. Jet sizes that I'm running, so you guys get a pretty good idea what what uh, you're going to need. Okay. Need a screwdriver. Pull that throttle body open. There we go. Get some uh, some flux on there, and uh, this is hot, so be careful. Very hot, but be very careful. Okay. This one. Yeah, it looks okay. Still hot. Not the prettiest thing, but it is hot. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Okay. Once those little ports are covered up, it should be okay. Okay. Pretty much the. Uh, I have to put it all together and see how that runs and uh, depending on what I see I'll give you the jets. Okay. Okay, time to connect the hose to the horn. He's in, and I will just put him back on. Well, that's pretty much it. Okay. Okay, and the idols that I ended up with was the idol is 
87. I know it's a little large, but uh, it works, man. You're not running rich or lean. So it's 87 on idle. The air jet is 63 millimeters. And the main ended up being 180. 180 millimeters. Right? Or actually, it's 1.80 millimeters. Okay, one thing I almost forgot. When you do this mod, you actually have to increase your uh, fuel pump delivery setting, okay? Normally, this screw is centered right about here, right about there, maybe just a little bit below. You need to bring that screw a little further down. That'll increase your squirt so that you minimize your hesitations. Otherwise, you're always going to have a hesitation that you will not be able to get rid of, okay? Hope that helps.